The battery voltage gauge is an important part of your car. It helps you keep track of the charge in your car's battery. Without it, you wouldn't be able to tell when the battery is getting low and needs to be recharged. However, sometimes the battery voltage gauge can fluctuate, making it hard to read. In this video, we'll discuss why a battery voltage gauge would go up and down, and how you can fix it. Make sure to watch to the end. The most typical reason for a battery voltage gauge going up and down is a failing alternator that cannot deliver a constant and consistent charge. How to fix battery gauge fluctuation. There are a few things you can do to fix the battery gauge going up and down. First, make sure that your car's battery is properly charged. If the cells are discharged, they will need to be recharged. Second, check the connections between the battery and the gauge. Make sure that the connections are clean and tight. Finally, if you're still having problems, you can try replacing the battery voltage gauge. Why is my voltage jumping? If your voltage is jumping, it could be due to a few different things. First, check the battery. Make sure that it's properly charged and that the connections are clean and tight. Second, check the alternator. The alternator is what charges the battery. So if it's not working properly, the battery won't stay charged. The voltage regulator controls the alternator. So if it's not working properly, the alternator won't be able to charge the battery. These are just a few of the things that can cause battery voltage fluctuations. If you're having trouble with your battery gauge, make sure to check all of these things first. When you fix them and you still can't figure out the problem, take your car to a mechanic. They will be able to diagnose the problem and get your car running smoothly again. Should my battery voltage fluctuate? No, your battery voltage should not fluctuate. If it does, there is probably a problem with your car. Battery voltage fluctuations mean that your car's battery is not being charged properly. This can lead to all sorts of problems, like your car not starting, or the battery dying quickly. If you notice that your battery voltage gauge is fluctuating, make sure to take your car to a mechanic so they can figure out the problem. Why is my battery voltage low? Several things could be to blame if your battery voltage is not as high as it used to be. The low voltage may result from the battery cells being discharged. If this is the case, you'll need to recharge the battery. Another possibility is that the connections between the battery and the gauge are loose. Make sure to check the connections and tighten them if necessary. Lastly, the low voltage may be due to a problem with the alternator or voltage regulator. If you suspect that one of these parts is not working properly, take your car to a mechanic so they can diagnose the problem. Why is my battery voltage high? Whenever your battery voltage is high, it means that the cells are fully charged. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can be if the cells are overcharged. When this happens, the battery can be damaged. If you find that your car's battery voltage is always high, have it inspected by a mechanic immediately. What should my battery gauge read while driving? Your battery gauge should read between 13 and 14 volts while you're driving. If it reads lower than this, it means that the battery is not being charged properly. If it reads higher than this, it means that the cells are overcharged. Either way, you should take your car to a mechanic so they can diagnose the problem. Why does my battery gauge go down when I stop? This is normal. When you stop, your car's alternator stops charging the battery. This is why your battery voltage goes down when you stop. However, it should go back up to 13 or 14 volts once you start driving again. If it doesn't, there may be a problem with your alternator or voltage regulator. These are just a few of the things that can cause battery voltage fluctuations. If you're having trouble with your battery gauge, make sure to check all of these things first. How do you know if alternator is bad? There are a few signs that your alternator might be going bad. First, you may notice that your battery voltage gauge is fluctuating more than usual. Second, your car may start to have trouble starting up. If your alternator is bad, it won't be able to charge the battery properly. What are the signs of a weak car battery? With a weak battery, you notice that your car is taking longer to start up. Additionally, your headlights may be dimmer than usual. Finally, you may hear a clicking noise when you turn the key in the ignition. Why does my voltage drop at idle? In case your voltage drops at idle, it means that your alternator is not charging the battery properly. This can be caused by several things, like a bad connection or a problem with the alternator itself. The battery voltage at idle should be around 13 or 14 volts. If it's lower than this, there is probably a problem. How can I test my alternator? There are a few ways to test your alternator. You can use a voltmeter to test the voltage output of the alternator or an ammeter to test the current output of the alternator. Additionally, you can use a load test to see if the alternator can maintain its voltage output under load. What is the average lifespan of a car battery? 
The average lifespan of a car battery is about four years. However, this can vary depending on how often you use your car and how well you take care of the battery. If you take good care of your battery, it can last much longer than four years. How much should car battery voltage drop overnight? Your car battery voltage should drop by about 0.50 volts overnight. If it drops by more than this, it may be a sign that the battery is not being charged properly. Additionally, if the voltage doesn't drop at all, it may be a sign that the cells are overcharged. What does it mean when car battery dies quickly? There are a few things that can cause your car battery to die quickly. It could be a sign that the cells are overcharged. Alternatively, it could be a sign that the alternator is not charging the battery properly. Third, it could be a sign that the battery is getting old and needs to be replaced. Why is it bad to overcharge a car battery? Overcharging a car battery can cause the cells to break down and release hydrogen gas. This gas is explosive and can be very dangerous. Additionally, overcharging a car battery will shorten its lifespan. Finally, overcharging a car battery can damage the alternator. How do you fix an overcharged car battery? The best way to fix an overcharged car battery is to take it to a mechanic. They will be able to properly diagnose the problem and make the necessary repairs. Additionally, they will be able to clean any corrosion off of the battery terminals. How do you revive a dead car battery? Whenever your car battery is dead, you can try to revive it by charging it for a few hours. Additionally, you can try jump-starting the battery. If these things don't work, you may need to replace the battery. There are a few things you can do to keep your car battery healthy. First, you should keep the terminals clean. Second, you should charge the battery regularly. Third, you should avoid overcharging the battery. Finally, you should replace the battery every four years or so. To summarize what we talked about in this video, fluctuating battery voltage can be caused by a bad connection or a problem with the alternator. Start by cleaning the battery terminals and cables of corrosion and deposits, and then directly measure the voltage across the battery when the car is running. A fluctuating reading will tell you that the alternator is more than likely the cause and needs to be replaced. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.